wants you to know what you are doing. So you need to study. To study to gain knowledge, not to study for study's sake, or to study because of exam. If you study for study's sake, or you study because of exam, just because of exam, I bet you after that exam, when you come out of the hall, when somebody asks you, my guy, how are you doing that number one question? You say, number one. What's it? Which question they ask you for number one? But you say you want number one question now. My guy, I don't drop that thing, I don't work out. You can't even remember. That very moment though. Okay, let's say you say your head it hurts. Oh yeah, now tomorrow morning. Hey, hey, yesterday cost. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't know. Move. So what has happened to what you have studied and studied and studied for a very long time? So if you study for the sake of exam, you merely just, what do they call it, cram? Memorize, eh? You don't memorize. That, oh my God, those kind of people, I know they know. When they are going to exam hall, they don't talk to anyone else. Right. They don't ask me to you They don't know the talk. Good morning, Charles. You look like this in the water. Any attempt to say that, like that, half of what you read, half. If not the reporter, yes. So those kind of people are sitting. I want to drop palm. They have gold. It's finished. But that is not the kind of knowledge you should have. You should have the knowledge that you can apply. So your studies is for is for is for the outside world, right? So when you step out of the University of Benin, you can apply it to life situations, life challenges. And even if you read science, when it comes to something about art or even accounts, you can you will be relevant because you can apply the basis of knowledge. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, there are very many ways of studying. I mentioned one, the one who just memorizes. There is another one who studies from the start. There are some people in my class those days. As soon as semester begins, introductory class, the day library, they say, what did they happen? How can you go to the library on the first? What did they find? They're too serious. These are the people they call bookworms. But it favors them, and it also means they understand themselves. You, you carry your two left leg, you go to play. They play. They play. They want to exam. I got to do that thing. You will run out. You will run out. Exam will run you. I'm running you over. But God forbid. Different kinds of studying. So you can study in advance, but don't do a night before. It's it's on. Your head feels up. You will go blank. I mean, there was one student where I studied in Belgium, and this girl, a day before the exam, went partying. It, it ended in a very terrible way. She went partying, and the next morning, she had like 10 minutes to go to the exam. And in some universities outside of Nigeria, many of the exams are overall exams. It's not written. When you prepare and approach the lecturer. And when she woke up, she was blank. Perhaps she thought that she could study that morning, but she woke up feeling the impact of the alcohol she took in her party. And she told her mother, Mommy, I cannot do this examination. And she said, Try. I said, No, I can't. And she began to feel very terrible immediately. And the mother told her, Okay, it's fine, don't worry. I will call school and tell them you are ill so that there is another opportunity because of that you can do what you call a 10 examination period. So there's another opportunity for you to do the exam. Just relax. And she became nervous. How did the story end? She committed suicide. Yes. It, it looks, it looks, it looks like that a child just made up the story. But I didn't make it up. It's not over here when too many things will happen to you 